In less than 24 hours, thousands of students in our area will kick off a new school year. NASA, Putnam, Flagler, and Columbia counties all start school tomorrow. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy breaks down the mask requirements in place for students. As students prepare for the first day of school, they are used to packing their backpacks with pencils and notebooks. But this year, many need to remember to bring a mask. Putnam and Nassau County will require students to wear one in the classroom and on the bus when they return to school. We have a back to school plan that outlines that requirement. It's been well documented, the difference that masks can make. So masks are required. In Flagler County, masks are mandatory for grades 3 through 12 and strongly encouraged for pre-K through 2nd. This comes as several other school districts are adjusting their mask policies now that the school year is underway. Duval County School District is now discouraging the use of neck gaiters and face masks with vents, saying, quote, neck gaiters and masks with vents or valves are proving to be ineffective in preventing the spread of COVID-19. The district does require masks and says it will provide students who wear one of these two options with a disposable face covering for the day. In Georgia, Camden County started requiring students to wear masks nearly two weeks after they returned to campus. The school districts that do have a mask requirement in place do have several exceptions, including for those who do have existing medical conditions and some even don't require certain ages to wear a mask. For the latest on your school district, you can head to our page on newsforjacks.com facing the fall, and that will give you access to what you need to know. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.